you know what part of your body is held in? Pancreas, I believe. There's not your liver. That's a good question. Thyroid? No? You have to guess what percentage of your immunity is based in your gut. What would you say? I'd say 50%. 50%. Maybe 75? 80% of your immune system is produced in your gut alone. 90% of your serotonin, your feel-good brain chemicals. And you have actually more brain neurons in your gut than in it, any other part of your peripheral nervous system. I think there has been a big disconnect in that the gut is a gateway to health in our medical system and we're very siloed in our conventional medicine practices. We oftentimes look to the white lab coats to have the answers from a health perspective, right? But it's really a sick care model they're trained in, not a health care model. The research in the gut microbiome is only just now bubbling up. So I think there's just now ears and eyes more so turning, at least in the scientific community, but I don't think that's infiltrated into our medical like learnings and textbooks at all. Having a lot of gas or bloating or IBS-like symptoms can become a person's commonality. I think it's oftentimes missed because of that reason, that it is chalked up to be just like a normal human thing. you know, someone who struggled with, uh, you know, mental illness and stuff, that stuff all comes from the body. Um, you know, people think that the brain is most important in some ways it is, but you know, it's all, it's all one unit. We call that, that gut brain connection, it's a connection to actually the HPA axis as well. Hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal glands, your stress response system. And so when we have a suppression in like our serotonin production, because maybe something in our gut is going on inflammatory wise, um, our body gets more stressed out. Um, that inflammation can also send inflammatory signals to the brain. Some of those basic principles about being an optimal human, I would say is the first place to start to give yourself the cleanest baseline to see actually where your gut health is. Um, and then going from there, if at the end of like a four week kind of reset for yourself from that perspective, you're still feeling like you're hitting roadblocks. That's when I would do a little bit more deeper digging and connect with a practitioner who is trained in how to look from a functional approach.